We have already mentioned in a previous video that choosing breakpoint is usually a matter of the optimization. This is also true when designing large scale adsorption columns. In the video with the upscaling example, we saw that a longer column gives us a higher degree of utilization. Thus, we would like to have the column as long as possible. However, a long column will give us a higher pressure drop, which might cause us problems. Higher pressure drop means that we have to apply a higher pressure to force the fluid through the column. And if the pressure drop is too high, cracks may form in the packed bed, and the particles might even themselves be compacted or destroyed. To decrease the problem with the pressure drop, we can choose to increase the size of the particles, but that will in turn lead to more broadening. More broadening of the breakthrough curve will in turn give us a lower degree of utilization. So clearly, some degree of optimization is needed to find a good balance in the design. Another important design question is how to choose the sorption and regeneration conditions. If we have a liquid system, we might use an element that is different than the original solvent, for example, with regard to the salt content, the pH, the polarity, and the temperature. The pressure usually doesn't matter in liquid systems since many liquids are essentially incompressible. For gas systems, changing the temperature or the pressure, so-called temperature swing and pressure swing adsorption, is common. Temperature swing is often slow since the entire bed needs to change temperature, but can be used in both gas systems and liquid systems. Pressure swing can only be used in gas systems. Usually the preferred design is to let desorption or regeneration take place at atmospheric pressure. The larger the difference between the condition at adsorption and desorption, the more efficient the process will be. Thus, in liquid systems, one often tries to have a large difference in characteristics between the element and the original solvent. Finally, a commonly used design in column adsorption is to let the element flow in the opposite direction as the flow during adsorption. This is it's virtually impossible to completely desorb every single molecule, and the closer to the outlet, the more important it is during adsorption that the adsorbent is free of adsorbate.